This session is from Let's Learn the Concept in 5 to 10 Minutes series. This 5 minutes videos will help in case you are going for interview and need to go through and brush up the concept quickly. Playlist will be updated every week, so subscribe to the channel to see more such content anytime and share if you like it. All the best. Hello everyone, uh, welcome all of you. So in this session we will see a very simple interview question. How to print uh, driver capabilities for Chrome and Firefox browser in Selenium. Okay, so most of you uh, may, may know about how to print it, uh, the driver capabilities and what is the use of it. But uh, when I personally asked this in the interviews, some of they could not answer it. So I thought, uh, let's cover it. So driver capabilities means we can say different capabilities for both Chrome and Mozilla that we have already seen in uh, previous some sessions uh, using Chrome options class, uh, driver capabilities uh, class for Firefox, we have Firefox profile firefox options class okay so you are setting the capabilities for that particular uh, browser so if i want to know some more details about the uh, capabilities whatever we have set when we open the driver so that can help me in debug uh, debugging any issue uh, related to the automation if any test case fail maybe due to some uh, in incorrect capability or you need to you have set some capability but it could not uh, properly set so that values you can directly see in the console itself okay so that will definitely help you in the debug so if you print this capability in console uh, you would be able to uh, understand what is the browser version right browser version you will be understand and what is the driver version it has open so details about the browser version driver version uh, maybe insecure certificate if it is uh, set to true or or false right so in, if you want uh, our website to accept insecure certificate okay so that value we can set using the driver capabilities for chrome and firefox so that value also you can see if it is true or false if it is true then it is uh, going to accept the insecure certificate if it is false then it will not accept so these details also will be able to see in the console itself then any other details like timeouts so there are different timeouts right so there can be script timeout what is the value of script timeout uh, then implicit implicit timeout so there can be page load timeout so some of these details you will be able to see if you print these capabilities okay so that's why it is very important uh, you know this how to print the driver capabilities for both chrome and mozilla for interview point of view it's a very simple solution for this but uh, most of the people could not answer it in the interview okay so let's go and see how to print it so this is my uh, class driver capabilities and let us quickly create a test ng method here public void let's say print driver capabilities So this is my method and inside this method uh, I'm going to first set my Chrome driver and Firefox driver using WebDriver manager. So WebDriver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup. So this will set up our Chrome driver and it will bring the latest driver version according to my Chrome browser version. And next thing we are going to set our web driver. So web driver driver equal to new chrome driver okay so if we run this code it will just open a chrome browser okay and i want uh, i am interested in printing the what is the browser version driver version all these capabilities whatever we have set right so before opening this browser we set some capabilities using chrome options class and Cro uh, capabilities class right so in some previous sessions i have shown you how to uh set the default download uh, directory using the capabilities then capabilities for insecure certificate also in the previous session so those things you can add here okay and then you will open the uh, driver the chrome driver with with that capabilities and that i am going to print it now to print the driver capabilities there is one method get driver capabilities okay this is the method so this method is available in the remote web driver class it is available in the remote driver 
remote web driver class okay so how will you call that method so first what we'll do we will write remote web driver okay so we are going to cast our driver as a remote web driver so this you need to uh, import from the selenium package so if it is not giving you the suggestion you can uh, directly write it import statement here import org dot open qa dot selenium sorry dot selenium okay specific package we will call uh, it is available in the remote okay remote dot here you will find it remote web driver okay so this import statement you need to add so if it is giving suggestion then you can directly import it and then give bracket here okay now if you press the dot you will be able to see so there are uh, more methods we can call now okay so methods from the remote web driver class are available so we are interested in driver dot get capabilities method dot get capabilities method so this is the method available okay so this method we want get capabilities dot to string method okay so we are uh, need to convert it into the string and then we will be able to print it so here i will add the print statement so inside print statement we will add it maybe here we can add current driver capabilities current driver capabilities are so here we can print it like this okay okay so this is the complete statement current driver capabilities remote web driver driver and this is the method get capabilities of the driver and we have just converted into the string okay so this should open the chrome first okay we are not opening any url so it will just open the chrome driver and it will print the capabilities so let's go and run this so chrome driver is 93 it is showing so the same should be displayed in the console so chrome origin is 93 it is showing so let's see our driver capabilities so here you can see it is print it has printed the capabilities so what are the values you will see accept insecure certificate is false because we have not set any capabilities so you can set it using the capabilities uh, similar to the previous session and then uh, this value should be true okay so that you can try then browser version is chrome what is my browser version 93.04577163 so this is my chrome browser version this is also value i got here some more details we can see about the chrome chrome driver version is uh, 93 okay 93.04577115 okay so from this i, I am able to see what uh, what is my chrome driver version that is open so this will definitely help if you are open uh, if you are running your selenium script on the remote web driver on a on a docker machine or on a selenium so what are, what is the chrome driver version it has open so this will definitely help in the debugging process and other values you can see localhost javascript enabled is true so you can go through it what is my platform is windows platform right this is the window then other details like implicit wait so this is the timeouts zero then page load timeout then script timeout then at the end we have some more details okay so this is how you can print this capabilities whatever driver version it has open the selenium driver so all the capabilities whatever you have set okay so you can set different capabilities so you can set it and then print it and then you can cross verify it if it is uh, correctly printed or not so that is going to help you in the debugging process if you are running your selenium script on the remote web driver like docker or selenium green on the selenium like that okay so this is for the chrome so similarly you can print it for the firefox also so you just have to create the instance of firefox here so statement will remain same so here you just have to create the 
Firefox instance. Okay, so Firefox driver class instance, and we will see what is the version of Firefox now. Okay, okay, one exception we have not set up the Firefox. We need to set up the Firefox here. So Firefox driver dot setup. Okay. okay it has opened the firefox so let us see the capabilities values now so capabilities uh accept insecure certificate is true browser version firefox okay so by default it has said the insecure certificate accept uh, equal to true then uh, browser name is firefox browser version is this 91.0.2 okay so all these details you are able to see for mozilla firefox also okay so you can go through it platform windows okay different timeouts we are able to see so this value is also you can uh, change using the capabilities firefox profile firefox options so this is all about how you can print the capabilities our capabilities for both chrome and mozilla so i hope uh, you understood this concept if you don't understand anything from this you can add in the comment or send me an email on age automation 09 at gmail.com so thank you for your time guys i uh, will see you in the next video thank you